So you are leaving me to go after the million dollars. I will never see you again. Honey, I'll come back to you, I promise. He grabbed the elevator and went down like a gentleman. Take her home and wait. I met Maggie four years ago in Tokyo. I know that. I'm more interested in the present. Would you be honest with me? He said you'd protect me. Do I need protection? I hope not. What do you know about the million dollars? Nothing, except that he wants it. Hmm. You know this man? Max Stein. He was our friend. He was at one time an espionage agent for the other side. I don't care. He was my friend and McGill's. We saw him die, shot on the street. Why was he killed? I can't say. Did your man do it? You can't think that. Why not? Wouldn't you have him killed if it was your duty to do so? And wouldn't you have McGill killed as well? On the contrary, if we can find McGill, we may be able to save his life. Can you help us? No. I asked him not to go wherever he is going. But he wants that money. He wants to lead a normal life, perhaps with me. But he can't because of his past. You are responsible for that past, aren't you, Mr. Michaels? No. Then what? Circumstances. Politics, the world. A person is never responsible, 
always something abstract. Was McGill guilty? Was he a traitor? I can't answer that. So he goes out after the money. And he will end, I think, as Max did. Dead on a strange street in a strange land. What will you do now? Going home to Tokyo. I'll be glad to take care of it for you. Don't trouble yourself. Please. I want to. Did uh, McGill make any arrangements to contact you? No. You say when he was returning? No. How about plans for the future? Certainly not, Mr. Michaels. There is no future for us to plan for. you like an old American fullback going around a bunch of high school kids. You taught him. Small comfort. Bring him in. All right, it's a mess. It's blown the coop. If I may, sir, I'd just like to point out that... You may not. This is the London office of American intelligence, not, as you may think, the excuse desk of some department store. You all know about McGill? He worked for us long enough. Now I want him back. No excuses. No more slip-ups. Now... We all know that Max Stein worked for the opposition. We know that he literally died in McGill's arms. He gave McGill a key to a safety deposit box. In that safety deposit box is one million American dollars, plus some intelligence documents. I want the key. I want that box. I want the money and I want those documents. Now then. When Stein worked for them, he was in charge of a network that was based somewhere on the Mediterranean. That means we've got almost half of Europe to worry about. I want every ship covered, the airlines checked, and our people alerted on the continent. And I want it all done fast. Excuse me, sir, but is McGill working with the other side? No. But he was forced to resign from our outfit six years ago. Yes. Well, then, can't we assume that... Don't assume anything, just get McGill. Are there any limitations on how we get him, sir? No limitations. Okay. Are you ready for this? I almost told them about McGill. You can't. Someday I'd like to have the satisfaction of saying out loud that McGill is innocent and just taking the rep for us. Just once, someday. That can never happen. I must be getting old. Really? I almost hope he gets the million. Is that so? Yes, Johnson. You'll get this desk someday soon. And you're welcome to it. My name is Ryan. I'm third mate on this ship. Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm okay. But I'd like to see the captain. He's very busy, as you can understand. Your passport, please. Uh -uh. The captain was told you have one. Yeah, I do. And I intend to keep it. This ship carries three deck officers, ten deck hands, a chief engineer, four assistant engineers, twelve men working below decks, a radio operator, a cook, and three stewards. The captain commands us all, 
And the captain told me to look at your passport. Please. Okay. You can look at it. But I want it back. It's genuine. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Half the world wants an American passport. I myself, like most men on this ship, am Greek. Although my father was an Irish seaman. I went away to sea as soon as I was old enough. Did you run into your father? No, 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 no. He was home with mother. I'd had enough of both of them. Oh, we had a ferocious card game last night and I lost. <laughs> Well, now that you know my life story, tell me. Why are you paying our good captain to smuggle you to Lisbon? Well, my doctor thinks the sea air would be very good for me. He could have been wrong. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that lately. The captain instructs you to remain in this cabin. Your meals will continue to be served to you here. Look, I don't want to stay in this room two more days locked up like this. My advice is to pretend you're surrounded by demons. And the captain is a wizard who has drawn a magic circle around you. Within the circle, you're safe. Outside of it, the demons will possess you. But I'm not superstitious. You've never sailed with our captain before. Uh, excuse me. Sure, we have at least one contact on every ship to Lisbon. Good. Well, the lucky man will make ten thousand dollars, and I'll even give a bonus of a thousand for McGill. Of course. Dead. Tell you something? Yeah, take me out here. Uh, I'd like to see the captain. Maybe I'll just walk around. Maybe. Calispera. Hmm. Aren't you speaking English to me anymore either? No, it's just that I've run out of cigarettes. Hmm. Yeah, Papa. Listen, is there really a captain on this ship? Indeed, yes. I have a message for you from him. Yeah, what did he say? The captain wants to see you. Right now. Right now. Great. Coming. Good evening, Captain. Mm -hmm. You see the man? Yes, sir. You have seen his passport? Certainly, sir. I don't know why you have engaged me to bring you illegally to Lisbon. I don't want to know why. Fine with me. You'll be on the ship two more days. You'll stay in your cabin. Arrangements have been made to get you off the ship undetected and take you to a place where you'll be safe near the docks. You will be staying with a woman. She knows less than nothing. She has been paid. You have two days to complete your business. You'll be back on this ship promptly by 0800 hours Friday. If you're not here, no matter, we sail. In this envelope is the name and address of the woman. Under no circumstances are you to fraternize with the crew. Most of them are Greek and would not understand you anyway. If something unpleasant happens to you, we will, of course, deny that we know anything about you. All understood? That's all. Oh, one moment. You owe me $500. Look, I paid you in advance. Expenses were higher than I anticipated. Well, that's life. Then I will not permit you to re-enter the ship. You see, I sell a service. I am a businessman. If my expenses go up, then I, like everybody else, pass the cost on to the customer. 500, please. Okay, okay. 
Thank you. Oh, and please remember, stay away from the crew. Most of them are criminal types. Everything's here. You'll be met by one of our men in Tokyo. That isn't necessary. Do you want to be certain? All right. I wonder if you would do me another favor. Yes, certainly. If, when McGill returns, will you give him my address and tell him I leave everything to him? I cannot say no to him. I understand that now. So if he wants me, he should contact me. And if I do not hear, I will know. This is the last call. All passengers for Tokyo, flight 112, please proceed to gate number five. I'll tell him. Now, you better hurry, huh? For fact. You see, Mr. Johnson, you spoiled more than you knew when you destroyed McGill's reputation. some company. These are, well, what's the difference? You would never remember their names. Greek is a very difficult language. This stuff. Not sure. Taxi, taxi. We're going to have a party, boys. And what's going on? I told you. I thought you would be lonely. Well, I'm not. Hey, uh, can't you play somewhere else? <laughs> they don't understand you. Anyway, what harm is there in a little game of cards? I'm not sure yet. Of course, the captain, he frowns on this kind of activity, but I thought, well, you are in quarantine, you will be a sport about it. And anyway, the boys wouldn't like it if you told them to go. Well, I wouldn't want to upset the boys, would I? No, you wouldn't. What about you? Aren't you going to play? Hmm. In a little while. Thought you didn't have any money. Well, I expect to come into some money. Anybody I know? Yeah. Intimately. Well, don't bet on it. Oh, but I'm a gambling man. Well, let's see. As my Greek friends would say, Yasu. Yasu. <laughs> Yasu. Yasu. <laughs> Keep her under 24-hour surveillance. I want to be able to contact her at all times. That makes it an expensive operation. Authorize it, Johnson. I want that girl safe. I've got enough on my conscience. So is McGill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lost again. <laughs> Too bad. He bet all the wages from this trip. What will he bet next time? Oh, he paid the mortgage from his house. Doce, doce carte. Come on. Doce, come on. Ma ti ti chi mai ne arti si mera? He lost again. A perpetual loser. Next time he will bet his wife. You don't believe me? That's good. Don't trust me. The sea is a bore. A man must create his own amusement. Well, I 
feel like playing now. Give me a thousand dollars. Are you kidding? Call it protection money. I've already paid that to the captain. Where's the justice in that? Should the captain reap all the benefits from his guest? No, no, no. It would be undemocratic. One thousand, please. Oh, so you want to leave the magic circle, eh? Well, maybe you would get out, but then what? Maybe I'll see the captain. <laughs> Such a mild threat. Can the captain alone see you get on shore? Can he alone guarantee that you won't end up in the sea? Or that the authorities won't be told about you by some despicable character? Me, for instance. <laughs> no, 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 no. You will play cards against us. The highest cards get paid. Yeah, of He bets 200. There yeah, goes. He bets 200. You got the story. And he bets 200. I bet a thousand. I don't play that kind of game. I know you have the money and a key. The word went round the docks, 10,000 bucks for McGill's key. And guess what? I hit the jackpot. McGill came on my ship. <laughs> so when you pay out the boys to keep them happy, give me the key to keep yourself alive. Or do you want me to tell the boys you're welching on their bet? of the three seamen? Mm -hmm. You could possibly identify them, but I don't see the point to that. Ryan was just using them. Of course, they'll think you owe them money. That could be dangerous. I'd advise you to take the safety catch off your gun. Cheers. I can have the Boris I give you, So, Steve, the Yes, I'd suggest that you forget about your business in Lisbon. That's a serious wound. I can't. Poor Ryan, I'm afraid he is suffering rather from concussion. He keeps murmuring in his delirium that uh, something about a key. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. I could be harsh with Ryan, but he will be in hospital for quite a time. I think that is sufficient punishment. Well, if you told about him, he'd tell about you. Precisely. So money and women make fools of us all. Which is making an idiot of you, Mr. McGill? Both. Then you are twice damned. <laughs> that the descent into the hold of a ship is like a fall into hell. So, forewarned is forearmed. This way, Mr. McGill. You head well, Yarrow. If you hang on to the rope, you will be all right. From the docks, you will be taken by truck to a warehouse. 
When you get out of the crate, go direct to the woman. Report back to the warehouse at 0800 hours the day after tomorrow. We leave with the crate. Whether you are in it or not is a matter of complete indifference to me. Goodbye. Κοίταξε τον καλά. Δεν έχει τίποτε άλλο. Πάρε τα άλλα. Πάρε αυτό το σοφάκελο. Έλα, πάνε να φύγουμε. Πάνε να φύγουμε. Better if people think I'm not home. Anyway, I like candles. You're very late. I didn't think you were coming. I wonder about it myself. There will be hot water in a minute. I'll make you some coffee. Mm. There isn't much food, but I don't go out for more. Anything will be fine. Fine. My name is Lucia. You needn't tell me your name, or any name. It doesn't matter. I have to wash. You can use the sink. Your 
very pale. I bled too much. You have any? Rags or anything like that? Any clean cloth? I can stop it bleeding. Please, just grab some rags. I'll be all right. I'm okay. I'll be okay. People I represent are offering $10,000 for McGill. I would not carry a passenger illegally. No, I know that, sir. I appreciate it. I come to you, as I've come to the masters of other vessels which you've recently docked in Lisbon, and I simply say that if you've heard of this man, anything at all, then why shouldn't you claim the reward? If you should know, for example, uh, where he's staying in Lisbon, it is just possible that I can arrange to give you some information. I'm delighted to hear that. Where's my key? Where's that key? Get me my key. Why do you need it? To open something. And when it is open, what will you have then? All that I need. Everything. All that I need. Good news. I could use some. The boys did a hospital check routine. So? There's a sailor in Lisbon, third mate on a freighter, who's got a concussion. He keeps ranting about a man and a key. I want you both to fly to Lisbon immediately. Concentrate everything we've got on the dock areas. You're number one, Johnson. Manny, you'll be number two. Run the show as you see fit. But get McGill. Still, you will bleed to death. It has to be very strong. And I need a lot of stamps. Go to sleep. I have to mail, mail it. Please. I can't get anything for you. Honey, promise me that. You have to do that. It has to get be done. Anything. Go to sleep. You have to do that for me. Mm. Max was dying. He could crawl to you, a friend, so he would not die alone. Tell me, where will you crawl? Who will you go to? I'll come back to you. And I'll bring the money. I'll bring it with me. I will never see you again. Never, not ever. <laughs> 
You'll hear me out because I'm leveling with you. Don't get yourself killed chasing the pot of gold. You can't stop me now. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> It's very big, but it should be all right. Is this okay? Yeah, that's fine. A million dollars will fit into so small a package. I must have done an awful lot of talking. I thought you were dying, and here you are drinking coffee. I had a good nurse. Where will you send the package to? <clears throat> to a post office in London. So easy. A suit, a package, a key, and a million dollars. I think of things I do for practically nothing. Yeah. And if you have the million dollars, what goes with it? A girl? Mm -hmm. Lucky girl. I don't know. How much will you give me of the million dollars? A lot. But I can't make you any promises. Last night you made promises. Last night you were certain. But the promises always fade in the morning. Lucia, if I make some money, so will you. Well, let me try Superman's jacket on over there. You should wait another day. I can. Other people are after the money. <clears throat> Yeah. Quite a few. Quite a few. Wait a little. Uh, no. I'm not very clever in these things, but surely in the bank you will need papers and things. Yeah. They were stolen, so... Then how will you get the money? I think I can bluff my way through. Last night, when you had your nightmares, I had mine as well. This is not a good day. It's the only day there is. But we both dreamt of killing and death. Uh, it's just dreams. Nightmares. What else is a million dollars? That man is waiting for you, isn't he? Yeah, probably. He stopped him. He'll try. That's for sure. But you're sick. Yeah. And the cure now is a million dollars. There's a back door. That's what they want me to do. They're trying to flush me out like that. Will you kill him? I don't have a gun. Don't go. Bless you. Guns on you, McGill, and our fellas are all over the place. Yeah, you did a pretty good job there. Aired it down pretty well. You know, why is to make it easier? Our fellas don't want to hurt you. Come on.
ayudarlo, señor. You speak English? Elite. Well, I'd like to get my safety deposit box. Uh... Abrió la puerta. Your name, please. Max Stein. Max Stein. Uh, I brought that in in 66. The number is AJ1131. You had an accident, Senor. Yeah, wrecked my car. Sign here. Espera un momento, la yo. I will have to close you in, senor. Press the bell when you finish. Okay. This way, please. This is your first visit. Would you like me to explain anything? Uh, no, thank you. I understand. Well, when you finish, press the bell and I'll put the box away. Yes, certainly.
You have finished, your senor? Yeah, I think so. What's the 30,000 for, Michael's charity? I offered you that much for the key some time ago. But I didn't give it to you. You recovered the documents and the money. Not for you, buddy. Don't be a fool. Take it. It's budgeted. Uh, there's a woman in Lisbon who helped me. Would she? Yeah. Well, I'd like you to give her half. Okay. Authorities are going to wrap you over the knuckles for illegally leaving England, so you'll need a passport. I killed a man. Not officially. But he's dead anyway. Once upon a time, he tried to frame Max Stein. Get the million for himself. Max outsmarted him, stashed the million, and took off. The other side are probably as glad to get rid of him as we are. Where's Taco? Oh, home, Tokyo. This address. She said you should decide whether to uh, send for her or not. Oh, uh, something else here for you. Present from Captain Reavers. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> 